Today's books are about love. Welcome to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl. I was trying to decide what kind of video to do for the day before Valentine's Day. My daughters and I had a few ideas we were talking about, but they all felt really big and like something that I just wasn't sure I wanted to do. And one thing I thought of was I want to do something that has different kinds of love in it. I went on YouTube and searched for it and found that somebody else had already done it. Last year, Bippity Boppity Books did almost the exact same thing I'm about to do. So I needed to shout her out just because while I did come up with the idea without knowing that, once I saw it, I wanted to make sure that if you wanna see her original tag that she made, go over and look at her video. I have a few that she didn't do and she had a few that I'm not gonna do, but just because of the closeness of our videos, I wanted to make sure I mentioned her. So I have eight prompts here. For number one, I thought of friendship. I have been kind of frustrated over the past few years in books and, and in other kinds of media where it almost feels like people don't understand really close friendship anymore. If anybody, if you're watching something and people are really close, people immediately assume it has to be a romantic relationship. I really love it in books when there is a friendship that doesn't have romance, when it is just pure friendship. So I thought of that first. So the first book is love that is just friendship. And for this, I had two. One was Harry and Hermione because I know a lot of people wanted them to end up together and I didn't. I know JK Rowling has since said that she would now put Harry and Hermione together, or at least that's what I read somewhere but I loved that they were able to just be close friends through the whole series and stay that way. But the one I really wanna highlight is Anne and Diana. As soon as they meet, they become friends. They're friends through hard times and good times and they stay friends even when they're older. Obviously we don't see Diana as much in the later books in the series, but you get the impression that they stay friends and I really love that friendship. Number two is sibling love. I think the easy one is to go to Little Women. I also thought about Vanderbeekers because the siblings are all very different from each other, but they are very devoted and loving to each other. But another one that I thought of was The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins because Katniss only goes to The Hunger Games because she is willing to sacrifice herself so her sister doesn't have to go. And I really love that. I loved that when I read this the first time that she was so protective and loving of her sister that she would be willing to do that for her. Number three is parental or guardian love. I thought of Marilla with Anna Green Gables, but I decided to go with Marmy from Little Women. She is such a good example to me. I want to be like Marmy. I love how in the books she talks about how she does have anger issues, but every day she is able to control it. She raises all of these unique and independent little women that all love each other and also strive to, to be the best they can be, but also don't just follow the mold of each other. They all have such distinct personalities and she supports that in them. I, I really love Marmy. Number four is pet love or a love for pets. This is kind of a weird one, but I thought of The Journey of Natty Gan. And I know there's a lot of books I could have chosen for this, but when I saw this on my shelf, I decided this was the one I wanted to pick. I loved this book as a child and it was one of my very top favorite movies as a child and I loved Wolf. I'm not as much of a dog person as a lot of people are. When I was younger, I always thought if I had a dog, I would want a wolf because of this book. So it was the first thing I went to. And she loves Wolf so much that she's willing to give Wolf up when it's what's best for Wolf as well. Number five is romantic love. And I thought of Juliet and Dossie from the Guernsey Literary and Potato Pill Pie Society. This was a book that I put off for a long time because I thought the title sounded dumb and I just assumed some, I assumed what this book was going to be about based on the title without knowing anything about it. And then it was picked for my book club a few years ago and it became one of my favorite books. I really do like epistolary novels. I found Juliet and Dossie to be so endearing as well as the other people too. It, this could be a found family love too, which I actually don't have on this list, but I probably should have. So I'll say that for this as well, found family. The next one is a love for a hobby or a career, whatever your, the calling you have in life is. And I chose 84 Charing Cross Road by Helene Hamp because her love of books and then the bookseller's love of books. I just loved it. I loved this book immediately when I read it the first time. I think like most readers, I love reading books about books and about book lovers. When I went to England in 2016 with my mom, we went to Charing Cross Road and I wanted to find 
where this bookstore had been. It was really sad to find out that it, that it was a McDonald's though. The next one is Love of Country. And I could have chosen a lot of things for this book as well, but I chose A Fine Romance by Susan Branch. If you haven't read Susan Branch's memoirs, I highly recommend them. She and I are different in a lot of ways. We met her a couple of years ago and she's just, she's very nice and charming and she was just really fun to listen to and to meet. And I find that when you're reading her memoirs, you really feel like you're sitting at a table with her getting to know her. I love the style of them where you feel like you're just looking through her journals and scrapbooks. And this is Falling in Love with the English Countryside. Since I love England, this book is was so much fun to read. And I actually, I read this before I went to England. And I also took this with me on the trip to England and read it while I was there. We visited a lot of the places in this. I would say that her memoirs, and especially this one, really epitomize the idea of a cozy book. And then the last one is Love of God. But then when I was looking at that, I realized that was such a big, a big ask. It was a, a big topic. There's just so many good missionary stories of people who have given their life for God. And I felt like I couldn't really choose which one of those was the best. So I decided to go fictional on this one. And I chose The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe because of Lucy's love for Aslan because of Aslan stepping into a Christ-like role. I love the way that Lucy loved him immediately. The others didn't see him right away. Some, you know, grew to love him and some fell away. But Lucy was true and loyal from the moment she met Aslan till the very end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do something like this, let me know. I hope everybody has a really fun Valentine's Day.